Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we're going to talk about some of my big money bolos, items that I sold on eBay for a profit. Usually pick things up pretty cheap. I shop at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, uh, the Goodwill bins, all different places. And we're going to get started here. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So the first item you may have seen in another video that I did. Uh, I did a video on single clip-on earrings replacements. So I talk about selling replacement parts for toys and different things like that, but you can also sell them for jewelry. A lot of times people will take something like this and they will repurpose it, or they have one earring and they lost another one and they need a replacement. But either way, put replacement in the title and you can make a nice profit on replacement parts and pieces. I sold this for a best offer of $37 and the buyer paid shipping. It is by Lunch at the Ritz. This is a nice brand, quality, fun earring, shaped like fish, super cute. Check out that video. Um, if you type in Bolo Buddies single earrings or something like that, it will pull it up and you can see some other items and how people are selling them. People repurpose them, turn them into like pendants or brooches, different things. So definitely a market for that. The next one is this Fellowship Foundry Pewter Dragon Cloak Pen. It's from 1990, and I listed it high at $130. I think I probably could have held out for more, but somebody came in and offered me $75, and I went ahead and took that. You can see all of the information is on the back. You want to make sure you include a photo of that. So $75, buyer paid shipping and tax. They were all in for $88.84. These are the Vintage Irwin Dollhouse Original um, uh, wall partitions, 15 of them. These are again, replacement parts. If you guys saw my Goodwill bins video, I picked up a ton of the Irwin dollhouse items and I parted it. I, I went ahead and did a part them out, uh, show, uh, listed them all in little sets of dollhouse. Like I did a living room. I did a kitchen. I did a bathroom a lot of them are still listed, but I have sold quite a few bigger profits parting them out. Now, did I part them out in singles? No. Could I have? Yeah, I could have sold each wall separately, but decided to put them all together. So it's really up to you how you want to part things out. Uh, could I have made more? Possibly. Took a best offer of 50 on this. Buyer was all in for $59.50. This is a vintage Jesus Last Supper 3D lenticular hologram picture, no light with the frame. Got it at a garage sale, I believe, for $5. And I sold this for $49.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And there you go. Um, I always use my tape measure to measure things to show that in the photo. Really nice piece, super cool. Uh, lenticular look to it and nice little profit on that. This is a brooch. Now, this one I had priced at $77.50, and it is an original by Robert. Uh, I could not find another one like this. I think I ran it on auction a couple times, which is what I always suggest to do if you can't find any comparables. Try auction first. It did not sell, so I just relisted it and priced it high. Uh, I did take an offer of $60.77 for this, and the buyer paid shipping. But really cool, just enamel brooch, hard to find. These are Mardi Gras necklaces, and I got these at a thrift store. I paid $2 for all of them. This is another thing where could I have listed these separately and made more money? Quite possibly. I ended up taking a best offer of $52 plus shipping. A lot of these are very uh, different, unique, maybe harder to find, but probably going to be long tail if I sell them individually. But yeah, maybe I could have got $15, $20 bucks a piece if the right buyer came along and if I was very patient, but I took 52 for all of them. This is a vintage Holly Hobby decoupage wooden wall hanging plaque. It is so cute. I got this at a garage sale. It took a long time to sell. I only paid $2 for it. Took a best offer of 52. It's kind of dimensional. Isn't that cool? I mean, somebody made that. And you can see right here, it says the brand. Uh, this is a sack roots. It's an owl handbag, shoulder bag. Got this at the Goodwill bins. It is just adorable. Just adorable. Really nice condition. 
I paid probably $5 or less for this by weight, by the pound, sold it for $50 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This came from an estate sale and I feel like it was just a bulk buy. And so I probably had a dollar or less in this. Check it out. 1977 doll kit. I sold this for a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. Is that incredible or what? This is a mother of pearl shell carved bird trinket dish bowl. And it is gorgeous. Check that out. Really pretty. I uh, took a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at a garage sale for five. This is a vintage Cutco potato masher number 14 made in the USA with a brown handle. And there it is. Um, a viewer sent me a fun box to do an unboxing on my channel. And you guys can check that out. It was Dealmaster Kim that sent it to me. And it was such a fun box. Most of the items I took to Whatnot and sold them. But a few of the items I pulled out and put on eBay. This was one of the items. And I sold this for $40. And I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry. $37.20. And the buyer paid shipping. And I am Bolo Buddies over on Whatnot. If you want to come check out a show. It's super fun. I sell a little bit of everything, but my main focus is jewelry. There is a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you join with that. And I don't know, Dealmaster Kim, I think she did one show. I don't know if she's going to do more or not, but check her out just in case she does um, on whatnot. But yeah, super sweet of her to send this and check out that video to see all the fun things I got. This is a vintage Halloween die cut decoration, jointed jack-o'-lantern made in Japan, Got this at a thrift store with a whole bunch of die cuts. This one is articulated, which means the arms move. It is also broken. And I sold this for $46.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Some of the vintage Halloween uh, die cuts and different things can go for big money. If you've never checked out one of my Halloween Bolo videos, oh my goodness, you got to check it out. So what I do is I go in and I search solds for big money category items. So this particular one I'm talking about are Halloween items. Type in Bolo Buddies Halloween and be ready to have your socks knocked off. These might be things you're passing by guys. So definitely check out that video. Um, are all vintage Halloween items, big money bolos? No, but a lot of them are, I mean, some of them sell for thousands of dollars. It is wild. Uh, vintage Christmas does well. You can check out Bolo Buddies Christmas. Uh, if you go to my playlist, it says category bolo videos. That's where I go into a category and I search it for big money bolos. So if you like that type of thing, check out those uh, that playlist. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I also have videos where I feature other sellers, big money bolos. Check those out. If you want to share a big money bolo on Facebook, I have a link down below that'll take you to my Facebook group. Up at the top under the featured announcements section, you can share your bolo and I will feature it in a video. Shout out your social media, your YouTube, uh, if you're on whatnot, put that in the comment and I will also read it when I share your bolo. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.